one. Jim, tell me about uh, what you're going to make here this morning for us. Um, I'm going to make one of our signature burgers from Lux Burger Bar. It's called the Pepe. It's a hamburger. Um, then we heat up some pastrami, some jalapenos, sautéed mushrooms, red onion, chipotle mayo. We're going to put on uh, lettuce, tomato, pickles. It's going to be delicious. It is going to be delicious. Is this... Uh, how many different types of Lux Burger? Obviously, you have a lot of burgers. Is this yeah. one of the more popular ones? Uh, yeah, this is one of the more popular ones. Uh, I think the addition of other salted meat onto a hamburger is always a good thing, and uh, it gets you away from the bacon a little bit yeah. and uh, gives you a good flavor, saltiness, everything, but soft meat. Does, does Lux have a secret sauce that you're not allowed to tell me what goes into the secret sauce because it's one of those I'd have to kill you um, if I told you? Well, this chipotle mayo is close. Okay. So it's close to a secret sauce. It's not, it's not too hard to figure out, though, if you <laughs> give it a shot. Um, I was actually just at Lux Burger over the weekend right. for my birthday party, my having a delicious birthday. burger. Thank you very much. And I, I'm curious as to, I know that you guys have a lot of different burgers. You've mm -hmm. got like veggie burgers and that sort of mm -hmm. thing. Um, what is this? What kind of burger is this that you were saying? Um, the whole the burger contract. itself is going to be the uh, Pepe. The burger. pepe. Um, this beef is a Hereford blend that we have. Uh, Hereford's a type of cow. Oh, a Hereford blend. I yeah, see. Yeah, it's, uh, it's sirloin, chuck, brisket. It's all the fatty, good parts of the cow all just mixed together. What so. I think is really cool is when you go to Lux Burger, you actually don't have a traditional way of ordering, right? How, do you, how can you order your burger? Um, we have burger pads on the table. Uh, you check what kind of bun you want. We have sesame. We have ones like that without seeds on it, wheat, a wrap. Um, then you pick whether you want this beef, Kobe, tuna, turkey, um, veggie. chicken, veggie, and then you just pick off what you want on it. You know, ketchup, spicy ketchup, mayonnaise, chipotle mayonnaise, goat cheese, blue cheese. It just It's a whole big list, and you just check off and put it all together. They're easy peasy. And one easy. of the things that I really like about it too is you can do the same thing with your sides. So exactly. you can like customize your own mac and cheese. Yeah. You which can. is like, I mean, that's a dream come true. It I want to thank you right now. It's nice. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah, mac and cheese, you can put in grilled chicken, pastrami, bacon, mushrooms, anything to just make it taste even better. Well, Same I, thing with the fries, too. Cheese on that, bacon on that, awesome. chili and on actually, that. And actually, I see all of the different customizations that mm -hmm. we're going to make this morning. We're going to come back in the kitchen and make up the Pepe Burger in just a minute. For now, though, back over to you. We are cooking with gas this morning in the kitchen, as my dad likes to say. And as a matter of fact, we have to get right to the uh, business at hand of turning up the fan here because it is really smoking. I mean, we're really kicking here. We're really working. Is no. it working? Ah. There we go. All right. There we go. I just flipped it on live TV. Did you, you did? That? Oh, nice. very nice. Didn't I started start a small fire over there. I know. I noticed it's still going. It, yeah, it's, it's you know, grease fire, but we'll get through that. Let's see. What do we do? We're ready. All right. We're going to start hungry. over here. Uh, Secret this sauce. Little, this is a little, no, this is a little clarified butter. It's still a little cold, but we're just going to paint this in the pan here. I like painting with butter. Sure. That's a good way to start. That and recipes uh, that start with a can of beer. There's right. nothing better than a uh, a grilled bun, like a, you know what I mean? Like a oh, butter I like, grilled bun. Oh, I like bun. heating my buns. Your... Heating my buns. TMI. <laughs> TMI. All right, so. We On got a cold hamburgers. winter's day, it's always fun to heat your buns. Make her stop. <laughs> Chef makers figure yeah. he's in charge. So. Yeah, what is All right, this we're going to take a whole bunch. Uh, we're finishing up the burgers here right on the same grill pan we got going. We're just going to heat up this pastrami. Okay. Is this the pep and pepe? I mean, what, what uh, is it a pepe burger? It's just uh, the combination of the jalapenos and the chipotle mayo, American cheese. It's like creamy and Who hot. Who is and Pepe as a man? I wish I knew. What does Pepe do on an average day? How did he get here? Where how is he going? He I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how he got here. We're going to throw some red onion in on here. All right. And just kind of heat that. Now, the through. onions, I think, to put on a burger, but the pastrami, I would maybe I would like overkill, that. like yeah. too much meat. But you know what? Where's I don't the think there is such a thing. No. no. I don't think there is such All a right. thing. We'll and I tell you, it's really neat when you combine the different flavors and the textures and right. that sort of thing. Ooh, right. That's good. So we're just going to kick this around and cook these onions and all the delicious pastrami and burger fat. How long you cook that for? Ah, uh, till it's heated all the way through, like Ooh, maybe a, a minute. There. You cook like everybody's grandma till it's done. Right. How much exactly. You put in, the amount that's good. Exactly. Right? Okay. I like uh, that in a chef. Yeah. You I just, can admire that. There's no time. You just cook by how it looks. Okay. So uh, some mushrooms now. We're going to add some sautéed mushrooms we already had in the mix. Those are already cooked off, so we just want to warm those. Very cool. Um, now, what, how do you make up your chipotle mayo? Um, 
It's not a secret sauce. I tried it's that not, already. Right? It's not, no, like it's not a secret, secret sauce. What you do with the chipotle mayo is you take uh, chipotle and mayonnaise, and mix and them together. It. Oh! Wow. And uh, that is like really, I'm busting out all the secrets secret here of Lux Burger. <laughs> but uh, but I have to say, Lux Burger. You know, even if you make it at home, Lux Burger is a great place to go. It's a fun place. There's plenty of parking on most days. Uh, you have a big lot in front of you guys, yeah. and it's just a really fun atmosphere. And it's dressy enough that you can go out, but casual enough that you don't feel stuffy. You know, sometimes when you get up, get all dressed up and gussied up for a, a night on the town, you feel like, oh, I can't touch it. Which fork am I using? And right. you know, and it's not that kind of place. No, you come down. We have uh, we have like adult milkshakes. Uh, I know. One of my friends had adult? one that was delicious. So yeah. it's got it's got like it. creme de menthe. It's, <laughs> it's like it's creme de menthe and ice cream, and we have the old style Hamilton Beach um, blenders, like mm -hmm. um, from those uh, milk, the cream sodas from the 1950s exactly. kind of thing. So I mean, you can come in and just get a vanilla or a chocolate or a coffee, but we can sneak a little booze in that for yeah. you. I also you know, enjoyed the white sangria yeah. when I was there the other night. That was the, that was pleasant. Sangria. Wow, did you see, did you see her there the other night? And it sounded like they might have thrown her out. She was partying. So probably. <laughs> uh, it was water fire, so there was probably a lot of people. Oh, yeah, it was a lot crazy. worse off than she was. Yeah, I've never been. I gotta go. Uh, I gotta no, no, no. Go. I always I have one adult beverage, and that's my limit. I always <laughs> keep it together. Now, uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to flip these buns out of the pan here, right? Yep, we're going to take these out right now. I wish to say, this is looking pretty good. Are you excited, as excited as I am, Feather? Very. I can see it in your eyes. <laughs> I just wish this thing would get cooked already. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, Let's it's just go. a little warm and toasty. So, Making hamburgers at home, shredded lettuce, always better. It makes a little pillow for all the other things to fall into. If you just have a, a leaf of lettuce, mm -hmm. it doesn't have anywhere to go. It's more to bite through. All the cold stuff on the bottom, all the hot stuff on the top. Cold Very on nice. the bottom, hot on the top. See, I do it the other way. I never do that. Did you know that? No, so I did cold not on the know bottom, that. hot on the top? These are professional tips. But That's why put, we don't know. You right. put the hamburger, and then you pile everything yeah. on top of it. Never again. All Here right. we go. So we're just going to take that right there. And I'm gonna, I think I'm going to get a knife because I have a feeling that... You uh, get on it? As big as Patrick's mouth is, <laughs> I don't know if he'll be able to... Uh... Boy, I stepped into that. was an easy <laughs> one for you. I'm going to give you this knife so you can go ahead and cut it and grab a bite of it. Well, I'm going to cut and, and eat. And, uh, and I'll talk. I'll yeah, keep talking. Talk. It's, it's oh, what I'm good at. It's going to be tough for me to eat with two knives, but I'll work on this. And right. uh, You find the recipe online, as always, foxprovenance.com. Right. Foxprovenance.com. Oh, you know what? I'm so not even going to exactly take a bite. That's exactly how it would look it if you ordered nice. it. Delicious. I'll try that later.